Hello, my name is Mr. Mo, and today we're going to talk about how to take care of your fretboard and the frets of your guitar. Here's some things that you're going to need. You're going to need some lemon oil. I like to use this one by Dunlop, but others are just fine. Some kind of cloth to help wipe in that oil. A single-sided razor blade if you need to scrape off yucky junk that's stuck to your fretboard. A microfiber cloth for wiping off your guitar. Uh, some painter's tape, make sure it's painter's tape, and some quadruple ot steel wool. You might also use a Swiffer, and you'll see why here in a little bit. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is take your microfiber cloth and wipe off all of the grime and grit and dust that gets stuck under your strings. Obviously, you have to take the strings off to do this stuff. The second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take tape and you're gonna cover up the pickups of your guitar. Now, for those of you who don't know, your pickups are just a magnet with wire wound around them. And you're about to use steel wool, and those little pieces of steel wool are gonna wanna get stuck to that magnet. So we cover up the magnet protect, to protect it from that. Um, getting those pieces of steel wool off of a magnet is super tough to do. So this will make it much easier. Make sure you really get it around there, and make sure that you use painter's tape. No tape that's gonna leave marks and glue and stuff on your guitar. Then I also like to cover it up with a cloth to really ensure. Now, if you've got a really nasty guitar, this is where you're gonna use that single-sided razor blade to kind of scrape away. Don't use the corner of the razor blade, just nice and flat and scrape it away. Be extra careful because you can damage your fretboard. Now, you're noticing I'm taking some tape, I'm covering up my fretboard, leaving the fret wire exposed, and then I'm using my quadruple ot steel wool and just wiping back and forth. Not only does this make the frets nice and shiny, it makes the guitar much easier to play. And if you have never noticed the difference, clean your frets off and you'll see a huge difference the next time you go to play. And I do this about once every six months or so, so it really stays nice and clean. All right, after you've done that, you can kind of zoom in here and you just see all the little steel flakes and strands that are left behind. And here's a shot of a whole bunch of them stuck to the little pole pieces on the magnet of the, of the um, pickups. That would all be stuck to your pickups if you didn't cover them up. This is where I'll use the Swiffer now. Now that I've finished polishing all my frets, I'll use a Swiffer and just wipe away all of that, um, the little metal particles that are left behind. Sometimes I'll even use a little handheld vacuum and clean off the um, table I'm working on because those things are so easily gonna get stuck to your pickups if you're not careful. I just kind of make sure I get all the little filings and little pieces of metal uh, away from the pickups. Then I just uncover them and that's it. Your polished or your frets are polished and they look good and they'll play good. Then you can go on to the next step. This next step is called hydrating the fretboard. Your fretboard is made out of wood. In most cases, there's some diff some some other ones that are different. Um, but if you don't hydrate this, um, what can happen is that wood can start to contract and even crack. Or when it contracts, the frets that it's holding in will get loose and not seat properly. Now there are a lot of ways you can add your oil to it. Some people will put it on a cloth and wipe it in. And it says not to add too much, but the way I see it is, a piece of wood is only gonna absorb what it wants to absorb. So if you get a little extra on there, you can wipe it off, everything's fine. So I will put a little bit of oil on every single fret, then I'll go in with my cloth. Not the same cloth I've been wiping guitars down. I only use this cloth for this, for using this lemon oil. And I just wipe it into each one of the frets and really, Kind of put a little bit of elbow grease in there to get all the grime and grit that's stuck off there. Again, if your guitar is nasty or has been sitting for a long time or you've never done this before, you can use that razor blade, but I have to warn you, be careful. You will gouge the fretboard of your guitar so easily if you aren't being careful. I'll just lay the razor flat and then pull backwards. Don't push forwards on it. Don't use the corner of it. Then once I've got everything nice and oily. I'll flip the cloth over to a dry side and just wipe away any excess oil. Um, like I said, I don't think you can put too much oil on there. You can wipe away what's left. Here's an example of a guitar that you don't have to do this. Uh, the fretboard on this guitar is actually made out of rich light, which is a recycled paper product. Um, I'll still use oil on this one just to get rid of finger grime and stuff, but it doesn't do anything for the fretboard. Here's another one that you don't have to do this on. This is a, a guitar with a maple neck. 
Most guitars with a maple neck have a really, really thin layer of lacquer. So even if you tried to put oil on it, it's not gonna get down to the wood underneath. So it's kind of a waste. On this one, what I'll just do is just a cloth and just wipe away all the grit and grime that gets stuck on there. All right, now you know how to take care of your guitar frets and guitar fretboard. I've got another video that shows you how to put some strings on this on these guitars. So check that one out and have a super lovely day. Goodbye.